Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Question, do you know who you are? Who are you? Do you have a clue? Do you know what you need? Yeah, I know when I didn't know. I know how old I was. I was 27 years old before I found out who I was. The real me. Now, I ask you that question because a lot of times we go through life, we think we know it. We get to smelling ourselves like teenagers and we got it like that. We're big and bad. We're 21 years old, as they say, seven times three. Well, you know, here's the thing, babe. You still don't know who you are if you don't know God. If you don't have Jesus in your heart, guess what? You are a big, fat question mark. Oh, yeah. And the reason I say that is because you run around either from nightclub to nightclub, from job to job, from place to place, from person to person, from lover to lover, from gender to gender, whatever, from thing to thing, you're running around chasing your tail, trying to find you. You don't know where you are. You don't know who you are. But you don't want to be bothered with the God who does. The God who can make sense out of your chaotic life. Who can make sense out of years of emotional scars. And not only make sense out of them, but also heal every single one. So, I ask you, since you don't know who you are in the first place, anyway, why don't you just take a little moment and say, God, if you're real, maybe I'm not convinced of that. If you're real, would you help me understand who I am? Would you make sense out of my life? Would you show me what I need in an obvious manner? In the name of Jesus, I pray. And if Jesus is real, and this whole thing about Christianity is as necessary as the born-again Christians say, then would you show me? I'm not going to throw you out with the dirty water. Would you just show me? Because I live in a state of confusion. I'm a mess. And I need help. No need lying about it. And then you ask God to clean your slate, give you a fresh start, forgive you for everything you've ever done wrong, fill you with the power of his Holy Spirit because his Holy Spirit will change your nature. All the bad stuff you don't like about yourself, that's what the Holy Spirit comes in and starts fixing and adjusting. But you got to ask. Accept his son, the Lord Jesus, into your heart. Give him a try. If you can go in a lab and experiment on a rat, if you can experiment on stocks and bonds, if you can experiment on money ventures, on investments, why the heck would you not take a chance on experimenting with your soul? Give God a try. It'll be the best experiment you ever conducted.